let me tell you the secret, it just went numb <laughs> <laughs> That happens, you know <laughs> If you sit for long enough, the leg will go numb and there'll be no pain. <laughs> Only when you want to get up, you won't have legs <laughs> So <laughs> pain is uh, a certain defense mechanism in the body. If you did not have pain, most people not yet have enough intelligence to even to preserve themselves or protect themselves. So pain is needed. Only because there is pain right now happening, you know you have legs, hmm? And you know you have legs which are in a bad condition. <laughs> Otherwise you wouldn't know. Where there is no pain, most people do not know because they are oblivious to every other sensation. Every millimeter, every micro millimeter of your body has sensations every moment. How many people are conscious of it? Something has to become acute, either pain or pleasure, it becomes acute, only then they know it. Otherwise, no. So, uh, it's easier to cause pain than pleasure. That is why the asana <laughs> But asana siddhi does not mean telling yourself where there is pain, no pain. Bringing the body to such a state of ease and comfort that there is actually no pain. Right now, is your nose paining? Hello? Hold it like this tight, all the children must do it. Hold it tight and see, is there pain? Ah. Oh. So if you simply sit here, the nose is not made for holding and pulling and all this, it's made for breathing. It doing its function, it doesn't pain, isn't it? But suppose you're walking, your leg pains. The function of the leg is to walk, yes? But it pains, why? It's not in a good condition. If you keep it in very good condition, somebody just walks effortlessly. Somebody else, every step is paining. Not because you are doing some other function with the leg that it's not supposed to do, as you just did with your nose. It is supposed to walk, but it's hurting. If you walk, at some point you have to sit. Why can't I sit on a chair, Sadhguru? <laughs> hey, still my leg is folded, okay? Now, uh, you can't… Wa you cannot walk without a crutch. That means you're crippled in some way, isn't it? Hello? Ah, what do the children think? You cannot walk without a crutch. This means you're crippled in some way. Disabled or no? You cannot sit without a chair. What is that? Disabled or no? So being born with a disability is unfortunate. But you working towards a disability is a disaster, <laughs> yes? Body is designed to do certain things. I am not asking you to do circus, only Ardha Siddhasana, not even Siddhasana <laughs> Half yoga <laughs> That you cannot do. No, you can do, it's just that you cripple yourself. You worked hard to cripple yourself with unconsciousness. So it's time, you work. Do not do magic and take away the pain. Know the pain of being disabled. 
you must know the pain. Because I would like to see that everybody grows in an ecstatic way. But my wisdom tells me that most people will not grow without pain, unfortunately. My desire is everybody should grow in a blissful, ecstatic way. But my wisdom, you know, with age you become wise. <laughs> my wisdom tells me, Sadhguru, don't try to fool yourself. <laughs> there are a lot of people here, unless pain happens, they won't do the right things in their life. Hmm? Unfortunate. But we have to work with the reality. We can't work with an ideal, we can only work with reality, isn't it? So we have to work with the reality, do not try to take away the pain. Bring the body to a place where you can sit without pain. This means body needs little work. You must do… you must work the crip… the crippleness that you have created. The disability that you have created, you must take that away, not the pain, because pain is only an indicator. Today we have this thing that we want to fix always the indicator. No, no, no. Just taking away the symptom is not a good thing. It's good there is a symptom, because only then you will want to attend to the source. If you take away the symptom, you think everything is okay. That's not good. You can easily pump some painkiller and sit. Every day take an injection and sit. I'm doing fine. No, 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 with this something else will come. You must make the body in such a way that the disability is gone. It doesn't hurt anymore. That should happen. That is what asana siddhi means. Asana siddhi means you have attained to a certain perfection of posture. Posture means you have attained to a certain perfection of geometry. Geometry means all physical form, whether something functions at a very high level or a low level is simply determined by how perfectly the geometry of that physical form is aligned. Only to that extent it functions. So, sitting in a certain way is not just about your muscular system or your skeletal system. This is about everything. The very scope of being human being, the very scope of exploring the nature of being human is in how you maintain the geometry of your body.